Ugh. So we on Earth, maybe two million five hundred thousand years ago, maybe old Vigord, definitely in Africa. What kind of sounds we hear? Well, definitely human, or shall we say, ape person like voice. Ah, communication. Yes, could be anything. We don't know, but definitely human voice. Aerophone, wind instrument. Perhaps also bull roarer. One never know. We see one in cave soon. Flute like instrument. Definitely, maybe we have idiophone. Stick hit together. Rock could have drum. Yes, animal skin stretched. Human skin. You never know. Ah, and string instrument. The musical bow could be. And the most typical early instrument was probably, not what you think, the human voice. But other instruments have been found in caves in southwestern France. A horn that could be a decent bison horn could also be a horn of plenty as well as a musical instrument. It's played opposite what you might think, but there are examples of such performances in France to the present day. The cave is uh, full of shapes, natural shapes. The cave is extremely, uh, it's exceptional, uh, it's beautiful. And what might renderings of wild goats and sheep painted in these eerie caverns tell us of the mine's Big Bang. This is the first uh, manifestation of uh, human imagination. Modern men tend to, to make their imprint on the landscape, on the territory. So it's why they penetrated in the deepest part of the earth. It's like to express themselves, to say that we are the owner of the earth in some way, and we have some relationship, personal relationship, with the spirit living inside the earth. In other corners of these caves, Laurent Blanchet has found artifacts made of bone, and a pattern of wear on the rock that led him to speculate these cave explorers also made music. I have the feeling to be in a cathedral here, a big cathedral, an important cathedral. You heard earlier there a bull roarer, which is a tube on a string swirled in the air. Other early wind instruments still survive to the present day, like blowing into a conch shell in an Egyptian Coptic Christian tradition. And then how about this array of contemporary wind instruments? We can hear a variety of instruments in this excerpt from the beginning of the old classic music movie, The African Queen, including two very different kinds of vocal presentation there's also an organ, actually a harmonium, where the air is blown through the pipes via foot pedals. And yes, we'll get a steam whistle on the boat, the African Queen. We'll also hear a thumb piano, an idiophone of slats of metal that are played with the thumbs. It's not really very close to a piano at all. The chugging of the steam engine Itself.
mazuri sana. Sika mazuri sana. sounds of the water sloshing along and a good example of conducting. Gotta do that often when you have a big group. Yambo Sozani. Yambo. Varagani. Missouri. Ah, Missouri. Yeah. This for pedals. Amen. Amen. A playful cadence. Idiophones, the solid body percussion, seem to be the default in Africa, as well as drums. And here's a great spin from Ginger Baker on the talking drum, related to the timpani. We go from Calabar to the west, north of Ibadan to Oshogbo, where we were met by some very fine musicians. Talking drum from Western Africa, from Western Nigeria, in Western Africa. It works upon the principle of you pull a string thus, which tightens the head, of course, there, making from that. Wola Fishagba. Yoruba language is Wola pitch fish language. When it comes to Kondu 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 Wola Fishagba. Communication in words. That's also true of the Chinese and possibly of the Bushmen, the San Kui people. In the Chinese case, Ma means one thing and Ma means something quite different. Babam Ben Le. Or Yimi Yimi. Ekwashi. Babam Ben Le. Can imitate the sound of Yoruba poetry or can be communicated across vast distances as war signals or can even be used to have one of the musicians order a beer. Yep. Royal African trumpets are also used to a similar effect and are often paired with drums. There are caves in 
the Ahagar Mountains and the deserts of the Sahara, where humans cannot live in the present day, but way back when, a vital culture that featured dance music. And while the people probably migrated towards what is now Egypt, and there'll be more to tell on that, the dancing remains as a through line. Early music no doubt featured drones at times, just like we heard in Olzo's Brock Zarathustra at the beginning. Sustained notes. And also related to sustained notes would be repeated rhythmic figures, which are known as riffs or ostinati. Ostinato is the singular, ostinati the plural, an obstinate rhythm that keeps repeating. And with these ideas, we're getting into the notion of the textures of music, but there'll be more to tell along these lines. But let's finish up going from Africa all the way across the Asian continent to China for an early bone flute that dates back to about 9,000 years ago. This is a bird bone flute, so we have the performer playing onomatopoically, meaning it sounds the way a bird would sound, but it also plays in a tritonic collection of do, la, do, so. It's an F. F, D, F. And it glissandos around those notes quite beautifully. Default in the East will often be pentatonic music, five notes octave rather than seven, or rather than the three that you just heard. But there'll be more to tell. <laughs> 